Welcome, future cyber pros and ethical hackers. Whether you're just starting out or already deep into your journey, you're about to discover one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal. The digital world isn't magic. It's a system of rules and languages called network protocols. Every website you visit, every message you send, and every file you download relies on these invisible agreements between machines. These protocols are the grammar that lets devices communicate, keeping the internet from devolving into chaos. Imagine a world where everyone spoke a different language. Nothing would work. Protocols are what bring order to the digital universe. If you want to break into cybersecurity, understanding protocols is essential. It's not just about memorizing acronyms or technical jargon. It's about truly grasping how information flows, how devices talk, and where vulnerabilities might hide. You can't defend or attack a system if you don't know how it communicates. Think of protocols as the blueprint for every digital conversation. Without this knowledge, you're working blind. This knowledge is what separates true professionals from amateurs. The best in the field can read network traffic like a second language, spotting threats and opportunities that others miss. Every piece of data on a network is wrapped in protocol layers, like a digital onion. Each layer adds its own information, guiding data from your device to its destination and back again. Hackers peel back these layers to inspect or manipulate data. By understanding what each layer does, you can spot weaknesses, defend against attacks, or even craft your own exploits. Want to intercept or trick a server? You need to speak its language. Tools like packet sniffers and network analyzers become far more powerful when you know exactly what you're looking at. We'll demystify acronyms like TCP, IP, UDP, and DNS, showing why each matters. These aren't just random letters. They're the foundation of everything you do online, from streaming videos to securing your data. By the end, you'll see the internet as a living system of conversations and learn to spot when something's off. You'll be able to recognize normal patterns and detect the subtle signs of an attack or a misconfiguration. This is the superpower that sets you apart in cybersecurity. Mastering protocols means you can predict, prevent, and respond to threats with confidence. Let's unlock the secret language of the internet together. By the time you finish this chapter, you'll have a new perspective and a new set of skills that will make you stand out in the world of cybersecurity. Every device on a network needs an IP address, its digital home. Public IPs are visible to the world, like your building's address. Private IPs are used inside your local network, like apartment numbers. Your router uses Network Address Translation, NAT, to let all your devices share one public IP. The router swaps private addresses for its public one, forwarding requests and responses. NAT hides your internal network from outsiders, adding a layer of security. But skilled attackers can still find ways to exploit or bypass NAT. Understanding how data is routed and translated is key for both attack and defense. Without DHCP, assigning IP addresses would be chaos. DHCP automatically gives devices an IP when they join a network. No manual setup needed. The process your device asks for an address, the server offers one you accept, and the server confirms. Addresses are leased, not permanent, so networks can serve many devices efficiently. Attackers can exploit DHCP by setting up rogue servers to redirect traffic or steal data. Understanding the DHCP handshake is crucial for both launching and defending against local network attacks. Mastering DHCP is a must for any hacker or defender. Data travels as packets, each with an IP header, like a digital envelope. The header holds source and destination IPs version, TTL, to prevent endless loops, and protocol type. The protocol field tells the system how to handle the data, TCP, UDP, etc. Hackers analyze these headers to learn about traffic and spot vulnerabilities. Tools like Wireshark let you dissect packets, trace data paths, and detect anomalies. Attackers might spoof IPs to hide or launch attacks. Reading IP headers is a core cybersecurity skill. Without it, you're blind to sophisticated threats. When you send data across the internet, it's not enough for it to simply reach the right destination. That's where IP comes in. It gets packets to the correct address. But what if those packets arrive out of order, or some get lost along the way? This is where TCP or Transmission Control Protocol steps in. TCP ensures that your data not only arrives at the right place, but also arrives intact, in the correct order, and without any missing pieces. It's like a careful courier, double-checking every delivery. T 
TCP is a connection-oriented protocol, which means it establishes a reliable connection before any real data is sent. This is done through a process called the three-way handshake, involving three key steps, SYN, SYNAC, and ACK. Think of it as two people agreeing to communicate, confirming they're both ready and able to talk before sharing important information. This handshake is crucial. It sets up a secure and reliable channel, ensuring both sides are synchronized and ready for data transfer. Only after this process does the actual flow of information begin, minimizing the risk of errors or miscommunication. Every TCP segment carries a unique sequence number. These numbers allow the receiving computer to reassemble the data in the correct order, even if packets arrive out of sequence. This mechanism is vital for streaming videos, downloading files, or any activity where data integrity matters. If any segments are lost or corrupted during transmission, TCP automatically detects the problem and retransmits the missing data. This built-in error correction guarantees that what you send is exactly what's received, maintaining the integrity of your communication. Interestingly, the same TCP features that ensure reliability can also be exploited. Hackers often manipulate TCP flags like SYN, ACK, FIN, and RST to scan networks, probe for vulnerabilities, or attempt stealthy intrusions. These flags signal different stages and intentions within a TCP connection. For example, a SYN scan is a common technique used by attackers to discover open ports on a target system. By sending SYN packets and analyzing the responses, they can map out potential entry points without fully establishing a connection, making detection harder. That's why understanding the TCP state machine, the various stages a connection goes through, is fundamental for both attackers and defenders. It helps security professionals anticipate threats and design better defenses, while also aiding ethical hackers in identifying weaknesses. Mastering TCP isn't just about moving data. It's about recognizing patterns, spotting anomalies, and knowing how to either exploit or protect against vulnerabilities. Whether you're building networks or defending them, this knowledge is a powerful tool. Ultimately, TCP is the backbone of reliable network communication. It's the silent workhorse that keeps our digital world running smoothly, ensuring that every message, file, and stream gets where it needs to go, safely and securely. Sometimes speed matters more than reliability. Enter UDP. UDP is connectionless. No handshake, no guarantees, just fast delivery. It's perfect for real-time apps like gaming or streaming, where a little data loss is better than lag. The UDP header is minimal, just ports, length, and a checksum. No retransmissions. Lost or corrupted packets are simply dropped. UDP is used for simple queries like DNS, where speed trumps reliability. Attackers exploit UDP's lack of verification for spoofing and amplification attacks. A small spoofed request can trigger a massive response, overwhelming victims. Understanding UDP is key to recognizing and stopping these attacks. It's a double-edged sword, fast but risky. ARP translates IP addresses to MAC addresses on local networks. Your device broadcasts an ARP request, the right device replies with its MAC. ARP is built on trust, making it vulnerable to spoofing. Attackers can intercept or redirect traffic. DNS translates human-friendly names to IP addresses for the whole internet. Attackers target DNS with cache poisoning, redirecting users to fake sites. Both ARP and DNS are critical and prime targets for attackers. Control them, and you control where traffic goes. Understanding these protocols is essential for both offense and defense. FTP and SMB are old but still widely used and risky. FTP transfers files but sends credentials in plain text, making it easy to intercept. Many legacy systems still use unencrypted FTP exposing sensitive data, SMB powers, Windows file sharing but has a history of severe vulnerabilities like Eternal Blue. Unpatched SMB services are prime targets for ransomware and remote attacks. Hackers scan for open FTP and SMB ports to gain access or move laterally. Always secure or disable these services to reduce risk. Beyond the basics, there's a whole world of network protocols that play a crucial role in both cyber attacks and defense strategies. Whether you're a hacker looking for vulnerabilities or a defender trying to lock things down, understanding these protocols is essential. Let's take a quick tour of some of the most important ones you'll encounter in the field. First up is SNMP, 
or simple network management protocol. This protocol allows network administrators to monitor and manage devices like routers, switches, and servers. However, if SNMP is left on its default settings, it can unintentionally leak sensitive information, such as device names, network layouts, or even passwords, to attackers scanning the network. Always remember to change community strings and restrict SNMP access. Next, we have SMTP, the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, which is the backbone of email communication. Misconfigured SMTP servers are a goldmine for attackers. They can be exploited to send spam, launch phishing campaigns, or even relay malicious payloads. Regularly auditing your email server settings is a must to prevent abuse. Telnet is another protocol you'll often see, especially on older networks. It provides remote access to devices, but there's a catch. Telnet sends all data, including usernames and passwords, in plain text. This makes it incredibly easy for attackers to intercept sensitive information. Instead, always use SSH, which encrypts your session and keeps your credentials safe. Spotting Telnet running on a network is a major red flag for security professionals. It signals outdated practices and a potential entry point for attackers. If you find it, prioritize replacing it with secure alternatives. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is the foundation of the web. But when web traffic isn't encrypted, anyone on the same network can eavesdrop, steal session cookies, or inject malicious code. This is why using HTTP alone is risky. That's where HTTPS comes in. By encrypting web traffic, HTTPS protects users from interception and tampering, making it a must-have for any modern website. Always look for the lock icon in your browser. For web hackers and defenders alike, understanding HTTP methods like get, post, put, and delete, and headers is critical. These details can reveal vulnerabilities such as those exploited in SQL injection or cross-site scripting, XS attacks. Mastering these concepts gives you a significant advantage. Remember, every protocol on your network is a potential entry point or weak spot. Attackers are always on the lookout for misconfigurations or outdated services to exploit. By learning how these protocols work and how they can be abused, you'll be better equipped to defend your systems or test their security. Mastery of these protocols is what separates beginners from true cybersecurity professionals. Your journey into the world of network protocols starts here. There's so much more to explore, and each protocol you master brings you closer to becoming an expert. What should we dive into next? Let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Your feedback shapes our next deep dive.